Greetings to you. Welcome to physics class. In today's video, we'll be concentrating on power in AC circuits. Resonance in RLC series circuits. The power, or rather the average power in AC circuit is given mathematically as P is equal to I V cos phi. Let's call this equation number one. Where I V are called the root are called the root mean square values of the current and the voltage. The quantity cos phi, the quantity cos, cos phi is known as the power factor. Cos phi is called the, the power factor. Cos phi is known as the power factor. The angle theta, I mean the angle phi, which is called the phase difference, varies from 90 to 0 degrees. 90 to 0 degrees. And so when the phase difference is 90 degrees, we have a cos phi equals to cos 90 degrees equals to 0. So when the trace angle is 90 degrees, the power factor is equal to 0. The power factor happens to be 0 when the circuit is a pure capacitor or a pure inductor and also a pure reactance. However, if the, circuit, if the circuit contains a resistor, the current, the root mean square current, is, is flows to the circuit and the power is absorbed by the resistor. When that happens, we have a P equals to I square R. We write this as equation number two. And so the first the, the power factor cos phi, the power factor cos phi is given as R all over Z, where R is the resistance in the circuit, and then Z is the impedance in the circuit. We call this equation number three. I promise to use these equations in subsequent videos to solve a whole lot of questions. Let's quickly look at Resonance in RLC series circuits. So we are done with this. So what do we mean by resonance? Resonance occur in RLC series circuits when the current attains a peak. When the current attains a peak. Let's draw something here quickly. This is a graph. A graph of current I in ampere against frequency in hertz. So let's have this up here and then down here. I would like to extend this up a little bit. So so here we call it here is the maximum this is your I max 
maximum. Your I maximum is here. So it is believed that in an RLC series circuit, at both sides of the graph, the impedance, if you if you like, you draw some small, small line. This is the frequency here, this is the frequency here, this is the frequency here. So the impedance is greater at this end of the graph. This is where the impedance is greater. So as you go up, the impedance is decreasing, 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 decreasing until you get to a point, a, a point where the impedance is almost zero. And at this point, you have your peak current, your maximum current. And the, the value, the frequency with which you have that maximum current is called the resonance frequency. F subscript naught. So resonance frequency, which gives you to the peak current in an RLC series circuit, happens when X L is equal to what? X C. Resonance frequency of call when X L is equal to X C. So let's establish this as a equation number. Four. When XL equals to XC, the resonance of call. Recall again that your XL is equal to 2 pi FL. And also your XC, your XC is equal to 2 pi, sorry, is equal to, your XC is equal to 1 all over 2 pi fc you know that this is the same thing as omega l and also the same thing as one all over omega c so if we write this this way we can write again as this so we said that resonance frequency or uh, the uh, resonance in the circuits in the series L C circuit occur when re uh, inductive reactance is equal to capacitive reactance, and we say that capacitive inductive reactance is equal to this, and capacitive reactance is equal to this. So let's write. We say that two pi. This implies that two pi F L is equal to 1 all over 2 pi fc. So we see, let, let what? Let f be equal to what? f naught. So let f be equal to f naught. So we we'll call this equation number 5. Let f be equal to f naught. So if that happens, we will now be having this implies that your 2 pi F naught L is equal to what? 1 all over 2 pi F, F naught C. So if you cross multiply, we're having, we're having what? We're having 1 is equal to 2 pi F naught L times 2 pi F naught C. This will give you. This time, this is having 4 pi square f naught square L C. And this 1, 1 is equal to that. So we want to find the resonance frequency f naught. So we write again that our, our f naught square is equal to 1 all over 4 pi square L C. So we take the square root of both sides, you are having your F naught is equal to uh, the root of 1 all over, all over what? The root of 1 all over 4. 4 pi LC. You know that this root will cancel this. 
and this go here two times and then eleven. So you have you have one all over root four will give you two. And then this root will cancel this square, you're having pi root L C. So we can write therefore that okay, let's take it up. Okay, here. Our original frequency f naught is given as what? One all over what? Two pi root L C. This is the equation for original frequency, where L is the inductance of the inductor and C is the capacitance of the capacitor. And then we have two pi. And then f naught is the resonance frequency. With this, we have come to the end of today's class. When next we meet in our subsequent videos, we shall be using all these equations from the very first day of this topic to this very moment to do a whole lot of calculations. Thank you and stay blessed.